clean itself out. This is house cleaning, that's simple. And the reason for detoxification is covered in my videos on the lymphatic system, the great lymph system. You must know this system. And I won't get into great detail of it because it's, again, covered in the great lymph system. It should be a part of this, this uh, whole uh, concept. I do uh, have a book planned. Uh, have got some of it started, you know, because I want it to be a very in-depth book. And it's called Detoxification, the Science and Practice of. Uh, very important because this is a true science and it also is a bit of an art because there are things called healing crises. And I don't know why we use these words, you know, I, it's just a word been used down through the ages, but uh, these are healing events, if you will, where the body's purging itself. Good example, I have a young woman that's a, uh, uh, a wife of a famous uh, uh, magician, and uh, she came in with pressure so bad she wanted to scream all the time, pain. I've had a lot of those here lately, and uh, several through the years, so much pressure in the head. And when I looked at her eyes, they were white and red. There was so much mucus and congestion and some red chemicals that she had taken, some pharmaceuticals that turned red in the body, that this all pressure, she wasn't filtering her lymph system. And of course, we've got her filtering her lymph system, and man, she has these healing crises of major thick mucus coming out of the sinuses that is red, same color that's in the eyes. And so, as she's getting this out, she feels numbness, and then it goes away. I've had paralysis during detoxification. I've had blindness during detoxification. Uh, these are more serious side effects. But you don't see them very often. But if you let your body go too deep into the world of toxicity, then removing that toxicity isn't always fun. So when you have mucus discharging from the body and your sinuses are stopped up, and you're coughing, your lungs are full, think of dairy products and why you should never do them because they're the most mucus-forming foods on the planet. If, if, if these dairy farmers want to sell their milks, then they should be uh, forced to drink them. Uh, the, the amount of dairy farmers and the lymphatic problems you see is astronomical. It isn't worth it. And if you want to be a dairy farmer, uh, those dairy farmers out there know the job that dairy farming is. My sister thought she would want to be a dairy farmer until she got about 50 cows, got a loan from FHA and, and got a, you know, about 50 cows. And uh, of course, she had to milk them twice a day, seven days a week. There was no going off for a little vacation. There was nothing like that. And it's not worth it because uh, we have to get away from dairy foods. We have to because the very survival of the human race depends upon it. Now, these are my opinions, but I tell you what, clean your body out a little bit and then just go have some dairy products and I'll show you what happens. That thick mucus that we get and it's suffocating our cells. Well, this is what you see when you start detoxifying the body, you start getting this mucus out. Now, to understand why detoxification, you have to simply understand that the body's just a bunch of cells and two major fluids. And that's a simple, remember, we've been going over that quite a bit. A bunch of cells and two major fluids, one blood and one lymph. So we talked about the fact that cells have to consume uh, chemistry, and not a lot. We have this idea that cells consume all this, uh, this nutrition and stuff. Well, look at animals in the wild. They're basically mono-eaters. Horses get pretty big just on grass, not a real nutritional substance. And they get real big. Look at these wild horses out west. Beautiful things. We raised horses growing up. Beautiful things. Uh, and, uh, you know, you don't want to be bit by, kicked by, or stepped on by a horse. You know, it's just the way it is. And these guys are big and strong. And they get by that way just eating grass. Look at the elephants. Look at the primates. You know, three to, to five times stronger than humans. And that's because they eat raw foods, and they only eat fruit. Now, some of them, there's some omnivorous primates, and we'll get into that. But ultimately, the body's just a bunch of cells and two major fluids. Chemistry is fed to the cells through the blood, and obviously anything that has chemistry consumption, has chemical processes, has chemical residues. 
like any factory out there, when you process chemistry, you have chemical residues, right? And these chemical residues can't be dumped back in the blood. This is where the allopathic community has failed. They need to open up to this and understand a whole other understanding of the great lymphatic system. The great lymphatic system. Because when you look at the cells, and I did a video yesterday short telling you about the cells of, uh, of the body everywhere. Liver, prostate, ovaries, kidneys, brain, thyroid, skin. It don't matter. I can tell you that these cells are stuck where they are. They can't pop out of tissue and travel somewhere. I hear this in oncology all the time, how your uh, liver cancer, a liver cell that was cancerous somehow got to your lungs or got to your brain and made cancer there. I mean, this stuff is like insanity thinking. I think sometimes they don't listen to their own words. But it's enough to say that cells can't get up and go to the kitchen. Cells can't get up and go to the bathroom. They're stuck where they are. And like I said on our last video, you have to feed them on site. And that's where these fluids come in. All these fluids are flowing around all the cells constantly. Unless you get constipated in the fluids. You don't want to get constipated in the blood, do you? That's stroke, heart attack, pain, that uh, ischemia. That's some serious problems with the cells because without blood cells of course are going to die no question about it but the constipation man suffers with is a whole different one this constipation is lymphatic constipation a very serious constipation because as you guys are learning all the body is is a bunch of cells two major fluids and how many sides to chemistry are there there's only two sides to chemistry base chemistry and acid chemistry and remember in chemistry acids are corrosive women use acetate or acetone to strip the fingernail polish off their nails so real important to understand the nature you don't have to stand, understand chemistry unimportant it's important to understand the nature though of the two sides to chemistry at least because you'll learn a little chemistry because you're eating it all the time and you're drinking it all the time. You're putting it on your skin all the time. So kind of good to know what you're eating, drinking, breathing, and putting on your skin, whether it's acid or base chemistry, because we know that deterioration, the world of diseases of the medical doctors are nothing but acidosis and the effect upon tissue and cells and their functional ability and the end products and results of that. We're why guys, aren't we? we we're, we're, we're why guys. Those people that listen to me are why people. They, they want to know the truth. They want the, what's the bottom line here? Don't give me the crap. Don't let me treat the symptom. What's the cause? And this is a, easy to understand as you guys are learning. And I appreciate you viewing these videos again. So, when things are acidic, when this fluid gets acidic from being constipated, remember, constipation of the lymph system is a kidney weakness and an adrenal gland weakness, where the adrenal glands are not allowing the kidneys to filter the lymph system anymore. When the kidneys stop filtering the lymph system, the lymph system backs up. That's why detoxification. Detoxification is actually a lymphatic experience. The blood is easy to clean up. If you can't clean blood up and you're a practitioner, you better go back to school or find something else to do. Because the blood's easy to clean up. It's the lymph system that's not so easy. And the reason is, is this fluid is much thicker than the blood. It's a lipid-based fluid because it deals with the acid side of